Speak Mafia. What's in the box? Let's find out. It's tabletop unboxing. Hello and welcome to another tabletop unboxing. Today we're going to unboxing the Dominator gaming case from CIT. Um, this is a um, gaming case that supports ATX, MATX and ITX motherboards. Um, I picked this up from eBuyer for £29, it's a really good deal um, for what you get. Um, so getting it um, right way up, see on the front we've got uh, two 12cm fans uh, with blue LEDs uh, spinning it around, obviously that's just the back side there. And um, on the back we've got another 12 centimeter fan and we've got, um, that's also with blue LEDs and we've got um, seven uh, expansion slots um, for the motherboard. Um, yes, yeah, so but we also got uh, those two C2 inputs there for liquid cooling, which is always good. And let's just take the uh, side panel off, the inside. Nice thumb screws as well. Um, yeah, so we'll take it off. See there on the side panel we have another two 12 centimeter flans with blue LEDs. So this is, you can see this has got really, lots and lots of cooling. So here we've got all the standard uh, connections that connect to the motherboard that control everything on uh, all the I/O ports on the front of the of the the case. Um, um, so this case has also got um, USB 3, which is the blue cable here. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a, one of those blocks that allows you to um, plug all of them into the block and then plug it into the motherboard, which makes everything easier when you're installing it. And here we've got all our little knickknacks. Um, like, so motherboard screws, um, drive bay um, clamps. It's got a unique system, obviously, about um, on a rail system that those connect to the actual hard drive and then you just kind of slide them in so it's another it's like a screwless design um, much better than other ones I've seen so around the side we take off this uh, the plastic uh, we see this side fans um, you can independently control these so you can switch them off and on at will um, it's a really good feature uh, around the front see it's, it's quite a nice design um, very well finished. See the we've got all our controls um, facing upwards. Um, we've got quite a selection here. We've got the stand power reset. Um, we've got headphones, microphone. Uh, with these like, I guess they're dust covers. I, suppose, I guess we're supposed to take these off, not always use them. Um, we've also got a memory card slot, which is 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 rare. So SD cards, MMC and MS. Um, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so um, we've got four USB slots there. The furthest left one is the USB 3. Um, which also they have these little nice little dust covers there. Um, and it's got this like flap thing. Um, that you obviously pull down to cover up your ports. Um, so I'm thinking once you've lost all of those rubber things, that's the last line of defense against dust. The greatest thing about this is that you can actually control every, um, what, the rear and front fans independently. So if you're doing a very system heavy task, you can put them high. If you're not doing anything at all and you want it quite quiet in the room, you can put them low, or you can just completely switch them off. So quickly running through the internal bays, we have um, two five and a quarter bays for your CD-ROM drives four three and a half bays for your hard drives and one two and a half um, inch bay for an um, SSD drive that actually sits quite nicely on top um, and doesn't need an adapter that you get where you usually need to put it into the um, three and a half inch bay so that's good. So that was the unboxing of the Dominator gaming case by CIT. I'll probably do a follow-up video where um, after I've finished installing everything to show you how really nice the um, cable management um, is in this case. Um, so thanks for watching Tabletop Unboxing. Please um, check out our other videos, uh, check out the Geek Mafia Network and please subscribe. See you later. Tabletop Unboxing.